All right, we made it, kiddo. I've cleared this place of monsters twice. We should be totally okay now. Uh, okay, well, she's going somewhere. I guess we will follow her. In fact, first I'm going to drop my heel first. Any monsters? Oh, I still got the rifle. Why? Yeah, there are monsters out here, but they're, like, lethargic. Like... And they're close to dead anyway. Somebody messed all these monsters up. I feel bad for them now. These monsters was just chilling. I guess I didn't have to kill them. I could have just walked on by. But they would have they would have deducted bips if I did that. That will not stand. Let's get the gunblade back out. I think that's the first time I actually used uh, rifle rounds in the game, isn't it? And it was purely by accident, just because I had forgotten that, that I had the rifle equipped. Not a problem. The gun blades back out like God intended. Look at all these guys. Okay. What we should do is stand right here and see if I can life drain. Maybe I'll get everybody. Nice. Because the MIPS will regenerate, but the hips will not. So, we definitely want to uh, heal using the MIPS when possible. And look now, Neo Arc is filled up. We can go all through the whole place and clean it out again. But of course, that would mean going to the pyramid, putting in the code, going to the island and clearing that out, and then going to the pyramid again. And I think there's one more time that Neo Arc actually fills up. So, you can clear out Neo Arc twice from this point in the game. Uh oh. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. I went to hell and back to find that little pantsless girl. And now me, I'm gonna take her out of here. We're gonna drive down to the gap. You know. Um, yeah, back in 2000, people still said not like that. Like it was a, uh... Bill and Ted situation. Um, I don't like number nine without the mask. Now he's like, he's still not Psycho Manus, but now he's like not Psycho Manus with just a face full of rictus. How about as soon as you turn your back, I will shove my gun blade through you. How about that? What? Why do anime heroes always try to reason with villains in this situation? Stab him in the face! He's right there and your sword is like eight feet long. Just Poke him in the eye! That's it! That's all you... Ugh. Ugh. So we really should've just never taken the barrier. We should've just left Eve down there to starve. And this whole situation would take care of itself in time. All right. Let's get out of here. Said he was heading for the, uh, the helipad. And I have, like, an inkling of where that is. But first... We've got... Gold! The golems uh, were nice enough to take out some of these. Which ones were these? The scavengers? Anyway, they took out some of them out for us. They've only got 20 hit points. Looks like on the ground injured. Fine. Free bits for me. Those Spartan rounds are really, really good. But, I mean, if you're using a handgun, which we're not, we're using the gun blade. Because 
too awesome. Here's this fool. So now basically Neo Ark and the whole shelter upstairs are filled with these golems. And there's a couple different kinds of golems. Most of them aren't bad though with the gunplay. Most of them are just like a one-shot deal. There we go. If you can get to them. If you can close the distance quickly enough. Because the same complaint still holds, because sometimes when you open up a new map and, and instigate combat, you can't tell where the monsters are because the camera angle is pointed away from them. So that same complaint is still in evidence against the golems. But there's only one kind of golem that is really, really incredibly obnoxious. Which I don't think we'll see for a little while yet. If at all, this session. We might not have to wait. We might have to wait. Yeah, I don't think we'll see him at all just for a little while. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's uh, get back to work here. So there's this fool here. Where are the things shooting me from? There's one. There's one. Anybody else? Nope, we're good. Alright, so. Oh, you know, I probably should take them rifle bullets, because we did use a few. We got a phone call from Pierce. Saying, hey, I need the help up here. Um, so, we gotta... Like, there's so many people to rescue here. Kyle's downstairs asphyxiating, and... God knows what happened to Pierce, and... Alright, no problem. Oh, these guys. You know what? Free hits. I'll take them. So let's head back up to Pierce's room. And, uh... See what kind of trouble he got into. They have those security cameras up there. So maybe I can find where... Number 9 went. With my damsel in distress. Excuse you. That one's like has a suit of armor on him. Good times. Yeah, we'll, we'll take those. Um. Yeah, this elevator should take us up to Pierce. It's not moving. Well, horn swaddle. I guess we'll go clear the elevator hall then. Fine, we'll go around the long way. Not a problem. I'm good with this. Ooh, the dead bodies of the golems hang out even after you've already killed them. That's a nice little touch, I think. So who's gonna be out here? I mean, golems, for sure, but... Anybody here? Yes. Alright, I go get him. Well, you hit the wrong thing, and that's fine. And then he... Oh, I guess the knight... Are those the knight ones? The ones that look like they have armor? They have a defensive stance they can take, in which they'll take zero damage. Neat. Yeah, we'll take the airburst grenades, because we used a bunch of those. Take this elevator up. I wonder if Dryfield's full again. If I went down to B3 and went back to Dryfield. You first. Sneak attack bonus! That's right, baby. Add 5d6 to that roll. I'll just all those grenades. Did I, like, just tank those grenades? Did they even hit me? What the heck just happened there? Eh, we don't want riot grenades. Airburst or my jam. What about the... Just out of curiosity, 
Yeah, see, the mine's all full again, too. I can go all back through the mine if I wanted, but... It's locked. Well, shoot. I guess we're going the long way, then. We're gonna take the same path as the first time we came through the shelter. Out through the smoking area, and... It's probably just infested with golems is the problem. Right, what's in this room? It's gonna be horrible. Oops, something got me. Okay. So I had to turn the corner before I could even see that fool there. Yeah, we don't need this Spartan. I only have fired a handgun once the entire game because I've got this gun blade. Even though that would kind of be your go-to for most of the time. Well, this room didn't waste any time. Sneak attack! I gotta go around this way. Target the other one. Oh, I got you first. I know you were going for it. Too bad, son. Actually, these guys are easier to kill with the gunblade than the monsters that did uh, inhabit these rooms, like the little the, the maggots and the little jelly guys and whatnot. I actually prefer the golems, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. Oh, you missed. You fired right at the wall there. Oh, you're poor. Don't, don't, don't get paralyzed, Aya. There we go. If you'd gotten paralyzed there, you would have had to eat a bullet. That would have been bad news. Uh, yeah, we'll take those. Top off the hips. Oh, I didn't use my uh, protein capsule, did I? Oh, I must have. I have such a short, terrible memory. Okay, who's next? Love this camera angle. Love it. You can just see the whole room from there. Oh, God! Nope, these are the guys I was talking about. These invisible guys that grab you and poison you and whatnot. I don't know a good way to fight them. Gunblade or no. And he keeps grabbing you and you kind of... Urg! And they move fast, unlike the uh, the camouflage, like the spider guys from earlier in the game, where we'll just use that. Um, where even for a few seconds after they go invisible, you can still strike them because they're still physically in front of you. Not these guys. When these guys go invisible, you lose your chance to target them. So it's kind of up to luck whether or not you can hit them right off the bat. him? Looks like one more down here. Oh, the para paralysis got me. I thought I killed him. I, was like, I thought he was falling over, but no, he was just leaning in to inspect his paralysis handiwork. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll take those. Thank you. All right, let's pop this door again so we don't have to go around the long way if we want to use this uh, elevator hall one more time. Okay. Now at long last. We'll head up to the uh, security room. See if Pierce managed to not die during the golem attacks. Because that sure would be nice. Oh. Ow. Where's the last one at? Oh, the last one's a golem. Whoops. So I guess, no, they don't have a defensive stance, they have a shield, so the first hit takes off their shield. I thought they were going like a defensive, like a guard move that they did. 
that reduce damage to zero so you have to time it correctly, but no, it just turns out they just have a shield up front. Not a problem, I'm okay with that. I can hit them twice, whatever. Problem is I don't want to waste the rifle shell on them the first time though. Hit them once with the gunblade and then go with the gunblade rifle combo. And Pierce is not here. Awesome. Okay. Piece of paper in the receiver. <gasps> Message. Wonder if I'll have to decode it. Wonder if this is going to be another silly adventure game puzzle that this game loves so much. Nope, just scrawled handwriting. Oh no, it says it is written in code, but Aya knows the code, she's the missed employee. Aya, all the NMC data you and the other hunters ever gathered was stored on this facility's mainframe. Looks like they were using the data in their experiments. Someone was leaking missed data to the people that ran this shelter. Then I found out that Agent Baldwin... <gasps> what? Alright, well, if Baldwin is... the big bad... I got it. Well, first of all, I owe Rupert an apology, because I thought it was Rupert. My guess was wrong. I was like, hey, you know what? Rupert's the traitor. No, Baldwin's the traitor. So now he's going to target Jody, sweet, adorable Jody, who is... Wait, she hung up on me or we disconnected? Ugh, Baldwin. I wish I could just use, like, my parasite energy psychokinesis through the phone set him on fire. Okay, so Jody got the hell out of there. Good on her. Let's, uh, flip through the security cameras real quick. So the armory's still open. The lab is still open. The lift down to Neo Arc is still on. New York itself. We're see now, now you have some context. You can see that this is the uh, the dance temple that we were pointed at. Yeah. And security is on. I want to turn security off. Did I forget to do that earlier, or I forget? I don't know if I forgot to do that earlier or if we got turned back on. I don't even know where that switch is. I'll be honest. I have no idea where that switch is or what it's supposed to do. So, okay, Pierce either got himself kidnapped by golems, was killed and eaten by golems, or saw the feces hitting the fan and got the hell out of Dodge. Either way. So I guess we need to make our way to the helipad, which I don't know where that is. We don't have it marked on the map. We do have one more room I think I can get to now. Right, now that I've... I mean, maybe that's what the security off is for, come to think of it. Yeah, let's head that direction and see if I can check out the Golem Freezer. I mean, the go it's gotta be open now, because all the Golems done come out. Out of stasis, you know, they... They were thawed out. We'll hop in there. We have to go up through... Oh, I guess this door here. Either door loops around, but we'll go in this way. Voila! Now, I missed a gun turret up on the wall. Yeah, we'll take some rifle bullets. Why not? More ammo never hurt nobody. The okay, golden freezer's over this way. Oh god! It's our old friend again. Good old Stealth McGee. See, he just vanished. He got out of there. He, like, displaced himself. Is there one more in here? No. Okay, that was it. I guess he was the one aiming that red laser at me.
Shoutouts to Chrono Mojo who sponsored this video, and to everybody who makes this channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.